Hello! As a big Pinterest user, I can strongly say that my style has improved a lot because of the amount of time I spend researching and curating looks in there. To me, it's like a big source of inspiration and I feel like that's the case for a lot of other people as well. And if that's the case for you and you want to create outfits like the ones that you're putting on your board then this video is for you you should listen to the advice i have to give you and some of the rules that i follow to like achieve this obviously the first step if you don't have it already yet is creating your mood board or your inspiration board so this is my board here by the way i have all my style inspiration right here and i'll be using it as a reference like for this entire video so you can make boards of your whole style in general just like i do or you can assort different outfits for different occasions like casual outfits, going out outfits, or even the individual pieces that you like. I also have a separate board for that and it's really helpful as well. Like it helps me find the pieces that I'm looking for and when I go out shopping and stuff, it just makes it 10 times easier because I know exactly what I'm looking for. Essentially, you just want something to go back and like rely on. And then also when you're making these boards, you want to consider a few things. You want to include outfit picks in your boards that have items that you already own. This will be 10 times easier when you're styling your outfits because you already have some of the things and the inspiration that you're looking for. The second thing is having your lifestyle in mind. You know, you don't want to pin a bunch of cozy and oversized layer looks if you live in a really hot or humid place like you gotta be realistic of what you're putting in there when you feel like the board that you created is the ideal vision of the style that you want you can move on to the next step which is analyzing that board so what you should be looking out for is first repeated pieces what items do you see most in your board because those dominant pieces are the most important because they will curate a lot of your looks in my style board i can see lots of basic tops mostly long sleeves denim bottoms leather footwear the second thing that you want to look out for is colors and prints so what are the colors that you gravitate towards the most is it earthy tones is it black only is it bright ones do you see animal print do you see stripes do you see plate patterns whatever it is those are the ones that you want to go for in my style it looks like i gravitate towards dull and dark colors some semi bright accent colors here and there patterns and prints not as many maybe like a, just a few plate ones the third thing you want to analyze is proportions and silhouette so what are the fit of things where do things start where do they end do you go for oversized looks or more fitted ones that's how you want things to fit you as well and then textures and fabrics this is important because the texture of a garment can really affect the way that a piece looks and feels in your body so you gotta really understand understand the difference in all fabrics and all textures of clothing and also make sure that you feel comfortable in wearing those so what are the textures that you see in your board are they shiny sheer fuzzy grainy so yeah study this board up and down and really give importance to it because it matters not only it will help you shop better select clothing better and make use of what you already have better it will also help you understand your style to a deeper level third step is inspecting your wardrobe so you want to look for the items that you already have that are the closest to what you're liking now if you're having issues finding things in your wardrobe like for example you have repeated colors in your board that you cannot find in your wardrobe you can always try to find something similar like i recently got into blue but i don't own any blue pieces whatsoever but i do own a lot of navy though so I started replacing the blue I saw on my inspiration pictures with navy and it has worked until I get like blue pieces, you know? Or if you see that you have like a lot of off shoulder tops or cropped pieces, but you don't own any, you can always DIY these into the clothes that you already have. And I'll say it once and I'll say it again, that's why I love DIY trends because you can take something that you already have and then flip it into something that you want it. And the items that you already have that you think may not work for your new style, try to give them a second chance. Style it differently, crop it, dye it, alter it, stew do something with them but never throw your clothes away now let's talk about shopping for the pieces that you absolutely cannot find on your wardrobe a common misconception is that you need a lot of money to buy your dream style and i don't think that's the case the goal isn't to just go buy a bunch of things to change your style because i can guarantee you that you already have a lot of pieces that 
you're not looking at them right now but once you start seeing fashion differently and once you start learning more of it you'll start seeing the potential that a lot of pieces have but we'll talk about that later right now let's focus on the things that you absolutely cannot you don't have you need to shop for so you really want to research what your style is and what's missing from it and what you truly want incorporated in your wardrobe before you go and buy a bunch of things that's why we create all these mood boards and all these inspiration boards and we analyze every single little detail so you have a clue of what you like and what you need incorporated in your style and i think buying items one at a time trying them out see if you even like them outside of your pinterest board is really important now where do i shop personally i shop in different locations thrifting for my style is pretty easy i can find everything i need at the thrift but once i go to the mall or like online i can barely find like things that i like maybe like in a few stores i can confidently say that i like like two stores at the mall but that's a sense of knowledge that i've gained throughout the years trying different things out seeing what places hold pieces that i like knowing what's accessible to me as well and if you really have no clue where you can find clothes that fit you trust me the internet is a great place once you type in where to find blank type of clothes they will tell you so when it's time to shop you want to first make sure you know where you're going so list down all the places that you want to go then you want to make a wish list what are you gonna get are you gonna get jeans are you gonna get skirts are you gonna get long sleeves are you gonna get leather jackets i've mentioned in my previous videos that i tend to shop in rotation i'll focus on only getting jeans one time and then only getting jackets another but that doesn't work for everyone that's just my way of shopping you can make your wish list however you like and then the most important thing make sure you try everything on you want to make sure it fits you and if you can't try it on because i don't know you're shopping online i recommend that you check out your measurements and then compare it with the sizing of the product that you're buying or even if you have like a favorite piece that fits you the best you want to get the measurements from that piece and then use it as a reference if you find yourself second guessing about a piece and whether it can work for your style or not it's always helpful to like think of outfit combinations but you want to visualize what are you going to do with this piece before you buy it and now the tricky part styling your outfits but it's not even that tricky for real that's just like where people get confused and overwhelmed but trust me we'll figure it out okay what you want to do is pinpoint the styling of your outfits that you see in your board and also see what you can do to achieve the same thing i'm gonna give you some examples like are the shirts tucked in or are your sleeves rolled up what about pants are they cuffed are button-ups open or not what accessories do you see what's being layered in my board i noticed that a lot of looks have that sweater wrap around the body type of thing i didn't need to go buy another sweater obviously i have a lot of those i just didn't know that i could also style my sweaters in that way and when i started styling everything as i saw it on my board my looks kind of started emulating the vibe that i wanted to give and that was on my board as well i don't imitate it 100 percent the same i work out different alternatives for stuff that i don't have add my own little twist to the stuff i'm wearing and that's how you incorporate personal stuff in your style and if you really want to imitate it 100% I don't think that's wrong either you do you this is a room for creativity and you can use it however you want to use it but yeah as you can see this is a process and it's one that it takes time patience you're not gonna dress like your ideal style from one day to another and sometimes what you think your style is it's not this is gonna change almost every single day you're going to progress with your style as you progress with your fashion skills so keep trying out looks keep trying different styles keep styling things differently keep researching about all aspects of clothing and how you can improve your fashion skills and i guarantee you that's how you'll always achieve that look that you're going for thank you for hanging out with me once again talking about fashion i'll see you next time